Some <laughs> children at heart. I know I've been here long enough to know you all. <laughs> okay. You might get answers you don't want. <laughs> Come on, man. We can't let this happen. Wow. All ages. See, this is nice. I don't have any candy. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Trouble. You know, the kids are really quiet when they come up here. Oh, there you go. Oh, yeah. Teacher's pet. Okay. <laughs> Shh. Hi, Miss Rhonda. Hi, big kids. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong, Theo? You aren't your bouncy and happy self today. Well, I kind of don't really want to tell you. I'm kind of not very proud of myself today. Uh-oh, what happened? It all started when Jordan and Billy came over. We were playing with the ball in the house. Mom and Dad always say, don't throw the ball in the house. Well, they were outside washing the car, and the next thing you know, a ball showed up out of nowhere. Out of nowhere, huh? Who is rats placed my head? And all of a sudden, we were playing ball in the house. I Before, hope you... What? <laughs> well, we were playing ball in the house and we were just told not to. I don't know what the heck happened. It wasn't my fault. Well, I hope you guys were being careful and you didn't break anything. That's just it. I threw the ball. Billy jumped over the coffee table. Jordan tackled him and Billy missed the ball. Then, I really don't want to tell you. What happened, Theo? Well, I broke my mom's favorite vase. It fell to the floor and I panicked. Me and Billy and Jordan stared at each other for a minute. Felt like forever. And how did you tell your parents? Well, that's just it. I haven't told them yet. <laughs> we put it back together and put the flowers back in it just like mom had them. But we couldn't put water in that vase. <laughs> Uh-oh. Come to think of it, Mom usually puts water in that vase. <laughs> Sounds to me like you're feeling guilty. What are you going to do about it? Oh, man. I don't feel it. I don't like feeling guilty. That's for sure. But I just know I'm going to get in big trouble. I'll be grounded. And they'll be mad at me for a whole year. Sure, they're going to be upset with you. But what do you kids think that his parents are going to be more upset with? <laughs> Will his parents be more upset that he broke the vase or the fact that he hid it from them? <laughs> he hid it. He hid it. His parents will forgive him for breaking the vase, just like God forgives us when we do things that he doesn't like. In the Bible, there are a lot of stories. Shh. <laughs> In the Bible, there are a lot of stories about the God's rules and how people broke the rules and what God does when they continue to break those rules. It sure doesn't feel good when I don't tell the truth. I'm glad you made me tell you what happened, but I still feel really guilty. I actually think it's a good thing that you feel that way. Imagine walking past that vase every day and hiding that secret. That wouldn't feel good at all. Your conscience is telling you that you did something wrong and you know deep, deep down in your heart that you have to tell your parents what happened. And when you do, then you will see just how much better you feel. And you really think they'll forgive me? I know they will. Just like God's love for all of us, your parents' love for you is much bigger than a broken vase. Thanks, Rhonda, for helping me. This is one hard lesson I hope to really learn from. Hope all you big kids have a fun in big kids church. And remember, God loves you. Bye. Bye, all you big kids. Nicely done.